Hello, hello everyone, this is Colossius and I am back with another Go Problem video. And no, this video is not sponsored by Domino's. I'm just trying to make a couple videos before going to work. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm wearing a Domino shirt for this video and probably the next video as well. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and get start section 5, which is going to start us talking about eyes. So this is probably... Um, one of the things that they don't immediately teach beginners but be just because it's really complicated and they just want to get you playing as fast as possible but later on it becomes extremely important so eyes starts us talking about life and death so what first off what is an eye well an eye is a spot that is illegal for your opponent to play because it will be uh, a suicide move or basically it's a spot that your opponent has zero liberties or will eventually become a spot that your opponent has zero liberties so uh if a group has one eye, then it will have one spot that your opponent cannot play because it'll have zero liberties. It'll have, it's basically like a suicide spot. But if the entire group gets surrounded and that one eye is its last liberty, then it can be captured because you can play an illegal move when you capture something. So in order for a group to be completely alive, it needs two eyes. And this will become very important here in a minute. Um, so the idea is to learn how eyes work and then eventually work your way up to where you're doing life and death problems so you learn how to make two eyes with certain shapes and positions and that way you can determine if certain groups are alive or dead uh, and then you can apply that in your own games when you start invading or something like that or someone invades you and a group gets completely surrounded you'll be able to tell if a group is alive or dead by what eye shape it has and will it eventually be one eye or two eyes <clears throat> excuse me Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is our first example. and this example, A is considered an I because it is a move that your opponent uh, has zero liberties at. So we know that A is an I now, but we also know that you can play A and get and capture stones. So it's not an illegal move this turn because all the outside liberties are filled. So we saw that in the previous section. So if we play, you can see that the stones get captured. So one I is not alive. Well, what about this? Now we have an eye here and an eye here. Basically, two mo spots that your opponent cannot uh, play because uh, it has zero liberties. Yet we have the whole thing surrounded. Here we have two liberties that our opponent can never play because remember, it has to be the last liberty for us to commit uh, to play a move with zero liberties. And it's not because there's another liberty. So in this case, with two eyes, uh, you, this white group is considered alive as it stands and no matter what happens uh, no matter what your opponent plays or what black plays this group cannot die because black cannot play two moves in a row uh, how, uh, however a common beginner mistake is to fill your own eyes don't do that <laughs> uh, so don't fill your own eyes and then lower your own liberties and then eventually get captured two eyes is alive you can just leave it alone okay so let's go ahead and move on all right so is this black group uh, alive or dead? Does it have, uh, is it alive with two eyes or is it dead? Uh, a for yes, B for no. And in this case, it looks exactly like our last uh, example, so we're going to say yes. It is alive with two eyes. Alright, alive or dead? Is black alive or dead? In this case, black is dead because it only has one eye and white can play and capture. All right, is black alive or dead? <clears throat> so in this case, black is still alive because it's still two eyes. Even though it looks a little bit different, eyes can look a little different on the edge. The idea is that white cannot play here because it'll have zero liberties. So this is uh, alive because it has two eyes. All right, <clears throat> now we get to some complicated stuff. Is black alive with two eyes or is black dead? Remember, you can pause the video if you need to uh, at any of these problems. So in this case, black is dead or will eventually be dead. The reason is black only has one eye and black is completely surrounded. There is no way for black to break out. So black is completely dead. Uh, for those of you who want to try and disprove me, um, some might say, hey, there's an eye right here because if you play there, maybe you can do something here, but no. There's not, and even if there was, I would disconnect, and that's a false eye. More on that later, 
but just know that there's nothing there's no way to break out and if you go here I will take the eye there's no cut because that's a ladder so I know many players might try to hit, say hey I can break out or hey I can Atari this this group is dead um, I am 99.999% sure that this group is dead <laughs> so uh, just so you know don't worry about reading those stuff it's not the point of the exercise anyway it's just check how many eyes and is it surrounded Black is not alive. <clears throat> All right, is black alive or dead? In this example, black is alive. Because this eye is an eye, and it connects all through here to this eye, which is a second eye. So this group, although it looks really weird, is completely alive. Now, um, just a like, bonus homework is this white group alive ho, ho, ho. can you capture it just bonus homework if you want um i'm not gonna post the answer in the video but if you can't figure it out go ahead and ask in the comments and so i can maybe answer your question uh but is that group alive but here the answer is yes black is alive with two eyes all right uh this is section 5.1 all right, so yeah, this is gonna get into the next video. Uh, so and then uh, that's it for this video, which is starting us uh, starting our understanding for two eyes. Uh, in the next video, we are going to look at section five point one, which is going to be false eyes, or you can call it section six or whatever. Um, but the next section is going to start us on false eyes, which we will cover in the next video. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, I will see you guys next time.